audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your general weekly reading this week. After this, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my reading stories, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some cards that I resonate with you though Taurus be sure to let me know in the comments below let me know which card called out to you the most um, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments right I love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards uh, let's see what other cards we want to shuffle and use um, <laughs> as I was saying if you do enjoy this reading as well be sure to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out this channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it Taurus when you guys take the time to do that for me and then uh, finally this reading's here just to give you some perspective Taurus I'm not here to make a decision in your life this is just here to give you some perspective uh, for to give you a perspective for you to consider this week right um, but yeah, the final decision is yours to make. But with all that being said, Taurus, let's start getting into your reading now, shall we? I pulled three cards for your overall energy this week, and then we'll get into your career, we'll get into your social interactions, Taurus, and then we'll get into overall general messages from Spirit. Um, but right now, with your overall messages, the cards that we have for you, my cards, I have so many decks all around me, Taurus, they're just spilling all over. We have the High Priestess with the Nine of Wands coming in here. So let's break down to these two cards first before we get into the Moon card. Uh, the High Priestess is the representation of intuition. Uh, this is kind of just listening to like your gut feeling in terms of something, Taurus. So this is already letting me know that this message, the messages this week are more so going to be affir affirming messages more than telling you something that you don't already know. Um, Nine of Wands comes in of where it's like, it seems to be you have this idea you kind of know in you where you're going to have to like break free from something or go separate from something. You're going to have to go on a journey with with yourself for a while. You, this might be a little bit of a lonely week for some of you guys, but I don't feel like you're going to feel lonely, Taurus. I feel like this is just a week of where you're just on a journey with yourself. You're only answering to yourself. You're probably, there is a sense of where you're moving on, transitioning over from something because you do have the void of course moon saying nothing will come of this situation. So it's almost just like Taurus, like you're realizing something's just not going to pan out that you would like to it. Like you're realizing something like maybe you're taking off the rose colored glasses with something and you're realizing that it's just not as, um, lovely as you thought it was or you just kind of realize that this is turning into a waste of time whatever whatever that energy is for you it's just some type of energy is turning into a waste of time so now you're just going back to the drawing not the drawing board but you're um because you realize something's like a waste of time you're now kind of going on like the solo journey to figure out what the next step is for you you're trying to figure out what you know, what the next step for Taurus is. What does your future look like now? Because you're gonna, it feels like you have to make some changes or you are in this progress of making changes in this just transitional phase um, in your life. Maybe some of you guys are switching jobs. Maybe some of you guys are letting go of people. Maybe some of you guys are washing your hands clean of just something. Overall, I just feel like you're transitioning, moving on. Uh, but let's start getting into your career for my Tauruses that are interested in, in uh, involving career and your finances overall. Let's see what's up with that. We have the uh, Seven of Swords, or not Swords, the Seven of Wands for you. So this is kind of continuing on with that energy where it's like, I see the Nine of Wands is like that solo independent energy. I also see the Seven of Wands is where it kind of feels like you against the world, right? You kind of feel like you're having to, <clears throat> maybe for some of you Tauruses, it feels almost as if like, uh, you're having to just put, fight, put in so much work or fight so hard to get such a little payout or where it's just like one of those things maybe where it's just like you can't, you feel like you can't trust anyone else to get the job done with something. So it's just like one of those things of being like, oh, give it, give it here. I'll show you how it's done sort of thing. If you're not going to do it right, then someone has to sort of thing, right? And I feel like that's what's happening with you is where you're just like frustrated with people just not, not being able to rely on people um, inside the workplace, right? Um, 
I don't know. I just keep on getting like this unreliability. I don't know if that's pertaining to work, uh, like your job and in, like in essence, or just something in, inside your workplace or what's going on. The devil. There is some type of devil going on in your workplace. And that's what I think um, is giving you some type of frustration. That's what I think is giving you like this sense of being like, okay, maybe I need to move on, right? There's like this sense of either moving on or take control of things, right? Taking matters into your own hands to address this devil. Now this devil can come into the shape of anything, right? This devil can come into the shape of a person, a coworker. This devil can come into the shape as like, um, you know, maybe just like a really rough week at work where it's just like one of those weeks where, you know, maybe like, state comes into your building right i don't know depending on where where it is that you're working and it's just like um state comes in puts a lot of pressure on you you have to like it's almost like if you're trying to keep your job and have this place not from going under you have to do everything because because no one else will um but the thing is, I don't see you sitting in this energy for too long. I see you getting fed up with this, right? Because not only do we have like this where you realize like nothing's going to gain. You're not gaining anything from this, Taurus. You're realizing that like all this energy that you're sinking into this, it's not giving you the payout that you deserve. You realize, you know, you know that you deserve better. And this is where this all comes in your clarifiers we have the wheel of fortune for you i feel like the wheel of fortune is very active in your life right now taurus and what i mean by this is like your life can change drastically depending just from the flip of a switch sort of thing for you i feel like everything's just very up in the air and it's just like very dependent on you on like which way you want to turn this wheel right do you want to turn this wheel to the left and continue uh, with the Seven of Wands energy a little bit longer and feed energy into this a little bit longer and wait it out before you go into this Nine of Wands energy? Or do you see this yourself being in this Nine of Wands energy, like working through like this struggle? Is that like what you see as like your Nine of Wands energy, that journey of like persevering through those struggles, right? Persevering through even if all odds seem against you in your work life, right? You have the Queen of Coins as well as the Page of Coins. So this is an energy, really good energy, actually, for a career in the sense that Page of Coins, this is, I mean, it is the card of communication as well. So, mm, hmm. I'm going to pull some a clarifier on that because I do, something did come to mind, but I'm not sure if it's relevant or not. Regardless, uh, the rest of the message for this, like the Queen of Coins is the, is someone that's very good at self-employment, someone that's able to take care of their finances, especially. Page of Coins, it is talking about new money um, on some level. So let's see, two cards came out for clarifiers on this. We have the Five of Swords as well as the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is not the Eight, Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry. This is the Eight of Pentacles, actually. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Uh, so this is kind of more so, again, pushing to me, Taurus, of where you're transitioning, making transitions. Now, I don't know if this is an action that you're taking this week, but it's like... Whatever you do this week, it's almost like you're finally putting peace to the Seven of Wands energy. Regardless of whatever decision that you make, I feel like you're making it for the betterment of yourself. It's like you think things through. You're being like, okay, do like, what are like the cons to this job? Do I really care that much about X, Y, and Z, right? You weigh out your options. You figure out like where it is that you can go if you do want to go. That's the thing. It's like, okay, if nothing's going to come of this situation, what would I do next? What would be the replacement? What would I do um after that right and i feel like this eight of pentacles is where you kind of like bide your time but while you bide your time you you don't want to just make your decision until you have like like with this five of swords the five of swords talks about mo like being the bigger being the bigger person so let's just say that you, you hate your boss for example don't quit your job until and like make a decision on where you're going to go until you're able to come with confidence say from a very calm place and being like i don't want i don't want to work this job because of x y and z not just because you want to cut your nose to spite your face because you don't like your boss does that make sense so it's just like whatever decision you make i see it working out but you want to just i just want to give a heads up and being like make sure you're making your choice from a, a level-headed place i guess when it comes to your career 
Um, but like I do see transitions in terms of career, but just make sure you don't transition too quickly, I guess is what I want to say. You can feel your feelings now. You can start putting in the work now. You can start putting out feelers, applications now, definitely for sure. That is pointing to me in that way, Taurus, but I don't, I, I don't know. I don't feel that... I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like a strong push in you disconnecting this week, at least. But you know your situation better, right? Uh, in terms of social situations now, we have the judgment card. So action. I don't know if this is an action you are taking or action somebody else is taking. Let's see. Let's see what's up with this, right? Regardless of this, it's when judgment, when the judgment card comes through, it's through some type of action through in that social situation that I get a feeling that nothing's going to be quite the same anymore after that. So let's see. Oh my gosh, these cards are flying, honey. So let's see. Back of the deck energy we have as the hermit. <sighs> so definitely, like, this is, seems to be like an energy, Taurus, where it's like you're deciding that you need space from somebody, I feel. You're deciding from whoever this person is that I'm connecting to in your life, you're wanting to hermit, you're wanting to have some space in your life. You're putting up some boundaries of being like, hey, like, I'm even hearing like that little like that silly saying it's like it's not you it's me I just need space right now right um I feel like that's what's going on with you I can't help but wonder why you feel like you need space with this person right I mean it's none of my business of course for us but it I kind of enjoy this um and I don't know if you this is almost like a you needing space but like you don't have like an end date in mind for when you want to reconvene with them because you have the page of wands and the page of swords of where it's like you seemingly already had your eye on something else like it's like you know how we were talking about with your career just beforehand Taurus where it's just like oh yeah build up a plan before you quite take an action I feel like you already kind of did that with your social interaction where it's just like with this person you already came to mind like came to peace with whatever the situation is um, for some of you guys, you kind of feel like you're left out in the cold from this person. So maybe you became a little bit more distant towards them. The more that you like, the more left out, in the, the longer you felt left out in the cold, um, the more anxious you got about the situation. Like eventually you were able to start becoming indifferent towards the situation. Some of you guys started getting fed up. And once you got officially fed up from the situation, you became the hanged man. You're just like, you know what? Like I need to go somewhere else. Two pages come in. Pages represents new beginnings. I see a lot of you guys just being like, you know what? You do you, man, but I have to do me, right? I have to do what's best for me. And I see you kind of just committing to it, putting your foot down firmly in that regard. So interesting. So now with all that, let's actually get a Moon Oracle card for that as well. Because I'm interested. We have oh, your new moon, Taurus. New moon in Taurus. The prosperity lies ahead. So this is definitely promising to me. Uh, Taurus, in terms of social interactions, I mean, I'm going to just say, like, I know I didn't say I don't make decisions in your life, right? But I am going to say, just based off of the cards, it seems to be a very prosperous thing for you to wash your hands clean of this situation to go into this page of wands, page of uh, swords energy, right? Whatever you've had your eye on, it seems to be like a very, like, it's going to work. It's like, you making this decision to let something go to bring in a new start is really going to like benefit you in a great way i feel i'm realizing i never did a moon card as well for your um career row as well so let's do that as well to us while we're here full moon in virgo you are good enough interesting to have this for your career don't you think because when you have the you are good enough message behind all of this it's kind of like a I can't help but feel like you're, some of y'all's tourist work situations is just extremely stressful. Like you're put under a lot of stress with very little payout. Like, and it's one of those things that even you yourself probably tourists are just like, is this even worth it? And the full moon in Virgo comes in where it's like, you are good enough. And maybe where it's just like an affirming message of being like, you don't deserve to be underappreciated. You deserve to be treated better, right? Something to consider. But now, with all that being said, let's get into your final row messages from your spirit guide. What deck do we want to use for this? What do you think, guys? <sighs> we're going to use the starting as the starting energy, this deck here, and then we're going to the mystical manga for it. 
Hermit card comes flying out for you guys again. So overall, this spirit does seem to be giving affirmation to you, Taurus, that it seems to be a good decision to be to yourself this week. Um, do your best not to allow outside energies influence your decisions, influence your mind, right? So this, what I mean by this is like, don't allow like, you know, just as like a random example, like, you know, maybe you always have like that, that like, if you really want to like, move on from this person, whatever this social interaction is. Maybe they're a sweet talker and every single time you try to communicate with them, being like, hey, I don't like it when you do this and this and this. They're always just like, oh yeah, 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 I'll fix that. I promise you, I'll fix that. They're a sweet talker. And then things just go back to how they always used to be, right? It never changes. But because of that interaction, they talk, once you get, once they start talking to you, they sway your opinion, they sway your views. And it's like, I think it's important to keep to your own energy, protect your energy this week uh taurus so and be at peace with the decisions that you make clarifiers that we have finally for this is the three of wands so planning for the future magician ten of cups so you go your your overall mission right now is to permit away i feel taurus permit away to assess the energies that are in your space, see what's not servicing you anymore, because your overall mission is to get to this Ten of Cups. You're trying to manifest. You're trying to figure out what game plan you need to have to get to this Ten of Cups, where you feel extremely fulfilled, not only in your work life, but your social situations. Just all your cups being filled. You're tired of having to work so hard to have only maybe a few of your cups being filled, right? You're tired of dealing with this, with this devil constantly draining you of your energy. So it's just like, you're ready for a fresh start. You're in this process of really just releasing all this old energy, Listen, you listen to your intuition, right? Nine of Wands, go into this journey by yourself because when you end up on the other side of it, those that are meant to stay in your life, those the energies that are meant to stay in your life will be there but with you by your side by the end of that tunnel. Um, but yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Taurus. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most, and I'll connect with you very soon. I love you so much, Taurus.